All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of The Copley Kitchen with Mac and Coke. I'm Mac. And I'm Coke, and good morning. Yes. So we are switching things up a little bit today. Um, I know we already started changing things around a little bit by posting every other week now, um, but a lot of that is just to give us a little bit of a break. Um, but today we are making breakfast for you guys. Um, and now I am a huge fan of breakfast for dinner. Chris is not as big of a fan of that, which I know is like a thing. People don't really like breakfast for dinner. I That's don't, fine. I don't get it. I just I, don't get it. It's just so good. I, I could have breakfast for dinner all day. Let us know in the comments if you are a breakfast for dinner type of person. Um, so we are filming in the morning. It's like 9.30 here. Um, and we are making a little bit of a brunch today. Um, so what we're gonna do is make some homemade pancakes. I've got the ingredients separated out over here. Mm -hmm. um, some homemade kind of Belgian waffles. Um, you need a Belgian waffle maker because like that's a whole, that's part of it, like the way it's shaped. And we don't have a Belgian waffle maker. We just have like a normal waffle maker, but the recipe is for Belgian waffles. So the mix is Belgian waffles and some scrambled eggs. Um, so without further ado, we'll get started. Let's get cooking. Yeah. So if you guys don't like one of these things or only want to see one of these things made, I will try my best to put the timestamps in the description below so you can like skip ahead to see either pancakes, waffles, or the eggs. Um, so. Yeah, without further ado, let's get cooking. All right, so I'm gonna start off by making some pancakes and this episode is gonna be a little bit different because these recipes are so, so simple that we don't need both of us in here. So we're gonna split things up a little bit. So I'm gonna do the pancake and the waffle mixes um, and then Chris is gonna be fully in charge of the eggs because he is really good at making scrambled eggs. Um, so we're gonna start off with some pancakes I have already mixed together one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three and a half tablespoons, or not tablespoons, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, not soda, baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of white granulated sugar. So all of that is in here, and technically you're supposed to sift it, but we don't have a sifter, um, so we're just going to make do with mixing it like this. Um, and I didn't know what sifting does, but Chris told me that it just helps break apart the like the crumbly bits um, that are kind of like stuck together. Uh, but not that big of a deal if you don't sift. Um, so now that all of that is in there, we're gonna add in our wet ingredients. So you're just gonna make like a little divot or like a well, I guess, in the center of the dry ingredients. Um, and then we're going to pour in one and a quarter cups of milk, which I have right here. One egg. I'm going to crack over here first. three tablespoons of melted butter, which I need to go melt. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I have my three tablespoons of melted butter. I'm just gonna pour that in, and then we're gonna mix this up until it's really smooth. So that's what your finished batter should look like. It should be really smooth, kind of runny like that. No clumps or anything. And if you're struggling with the, cl the clumps, one thing that I really like to do is either take a whisk and use that to mix it up or you can take a fork and just take the clumps and kind of just like squish it along the side of the, the the bowl so i just took like a little slice of butter um and put it down just to grease up the pan and i'll add a little bit of extra flavor in there and today we're using my brand new pan that my parents got me for my birthday so i'm very excited about that this is the first time i'm using it um so i only got it the other day so, very excited. So we have our pancake batter right here. Um, and I'm gonna take this ladle 
and right now I'm just gonna do one in here so I can just like show you guys the technique and then after that I'm gonna try to fit two onto here because it's a pretty big pan um so I'm just gonna fill up this ladle like that and then just make a nice circular pancake and then in a couple minutes when all like the top of it will be all bubbly that's when you know it's ready to pick up and flip so some of these bubbles are starting to pop um so i'm gonna try to flip it and see what it looks like my gut is telling me that i should keep waiting but i'm very impatient <laughs> so i'm gonna flip it now Yeah, see that's still a little too light, but that's all right. So we're just gonna let the other side cook now for a bit and then I'll flip back over um, and keep cooking this side. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so this one's pretty light, but that's all right. Um, just kind of cook it till it gets to the golden brownness that you want it to. So I'm gonna set this one aside and now I'm just gonna burn through the rest of these pancakes. Okay, so we're back, about to make some Belgian waffles now. Um, so this one is a little bit more detailed than the pancakes. Um, so what we have here is two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Um, and then in here, I've put together one tablespoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of white granulated sugar, um, one teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of salt. So I just did like a little dash in there. Um, and then we're also gonna take these two eggs and separate the yolks and whites. Um, and then we're also gonna have half a cup of vegetable oil. We've got two cups of milk here and then we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna whisk together all of the dry ingredients which most of them are already mixed together, but just gonna add the flour in there and then this is the rest of them so the salt sugar baking powder um, and cinnamon throw that in there and mix that together and this recipe is from the <laughs> the salty marshmallow.com um, and I'll put the link to all of these recipes down below. Okay, so I lied. Chris is going to come help me out. Because <laughs> um, this Belgian waffle recipe is a little bit more complicated than I was anticipating. next step is to separate the two large eggs. So we have egg whites and egg yolks. So I'm going to put the egg whites into this bowl and then this is where Chris is going to help me out. He's going to use this hand mixer and mix the air beat or whisk beat. hand mix. Hand mix. <laughs> He's going to do a thing to the egg whites with the hand mixer until they form stiff peaks, which is basically just whipped, whipped yeah. egg whites. And it'll be, you, you'll see, it'll like turn white and creamy. And then while he does that, I'm gonna put together all of the other wet ingredients into this bowl. That includes the two egg yolks, the two cups of milk, half a cup of vegetable oil, and the one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna do that really quick right now. So I know there's like other techniques for doing this, like, like cracking the egg and then taking a water bottle and like suctioning the egg yeah, yolk out. Yeah, that's how I've done it before. I've never Actually, done that. Is, is it successful? Like, if you made it work? Um, yeah. Huh. So try that. Let us know in the comments below um, if there's other ways that you found that are easier and not as gross um, for separating egg whites from egg yolks. Okay. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome, Maria. So... This is what the egg whites look like now. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's basically like... Look at those stiff peaks. Yeah. It's kind of like whipped cream looking-ish. Mm. Um, 
but I guess, so I did a little bit of research while Chris was doing that. Um, and I also put all of the wet ingredients in with the dry ingredients and mix it up. So I guess the stiff peaks or like this method of whipping these eggs together is such a weird name, I know. stiff peaks. <laughs> I guess you're just incorporating more air into the egg whites and that's why it gets all like foamy and airy and light like that. Um, so, this is our waffle mixture. It's kind of liquidy. Um, I accidentally did one tablespoon of vanilla extract, but it's only one teaspoon, so don't do the same thing that I did. It'll Ours are just gonna be a little sweet. Oops. Okay, so now we're supposed to fold the egg whites into the waffle mix. Yeah, like you literally just go. Oh. And then, and then I see. Well, give me like. <laughs> but look at that consistency. It's like. Ooh. Whoa. whoa. Okay, so I'm on my phone now. We're using Chris's phone to record over there. Um, but this is what the egg whites look like. Like, they're literally like. They're not like hard, but like. They're. It's stiff. It's stiff, though. Yeah. That's what. So that's what stiff peak egg whites look like. It's just like laying on top of this mixture. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna use this spatula that we use to mix together the wet ingredients. I'm just gonna gently incorporate this into here. And that I think is gonna thicken up the batter because right now it's really liquidy and I thought I messed that up. But I think this will make the batter thicker again, which is good. Okay guys. So there's the final batter. So, I don't think we're gonna show how we cook the waffles because that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. We just have your standard run-of-the-mill waffle maker. Yep. Just spray it with a little bit of cooking spray on both the top and the bottom parts. Put your batter in, close it. Once the light goes from red to green, you're done. Yeah, just cook <laughs> your desired. Goodness. Yeah, there's really not much to the actual cooking of the waffles, um, but this was actually like a really fun, I've never made, I don't think I've ever made homemade waffles before. Yeah. I always use Bisquick and just do like the quick and easy, quick and dirty thing, which is still amazing, still fantastic, but this was, this was good. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to set this aside and then Chris is going to talk to us about some eggs. Yes. All right guys, it's Coke, and uh, we are going to do some scrambled eggs. Now, uh, I'm just gonna do it the way that I've always done it. I am not really following a specific recipe. Um, we're gonna use four eggs, four brown eggs in this recipe. Um, I like to use, you know, tried and true salt and pepper, uh, and then some garlic powder, as well as some paprika for a little bit of smokiness. Cover that and some salt. Pepper. And I like to just give it a nice, um, like a, almost like a, like, like a dusting of garlic powder. Um, Cause you can go in and season a little later if you want, but, um, and then the paprika, and then a little pig beater here. I'll see you over there. All right guys, so for your eggs, um, you could use a number of things here. Uh, olive oil, uh, vegetable oil, uh, butter is what we're gonna use in this case, because I think uh, it's just gonna add a, a light layer of flavor. Um, so what we're gonna do here, uh, I have the stove on low, um, because we are going to cook these kind of low and and slow. We have our eggs right here. Pour them right in. And then the first thing we're gonna do, we're really just gonna keep them, keep them moving. Eggs are, um, eggs are very delicate. So uh, in order to keep them creamy, um, I mean, even here the, the heat might be up just a little bit high. That's okay though. Um, you really want to maintain that kind of low temperature, so keep the eggs moving, 
uh, and you take it on and off heat as necessary um, because the last thing you want is for them to become, uh, you know, rubbery and, and, and almost bland. Um, I feel pretty good about how I seasoned these, um, so I don't think I'm going to be adding any more seasoning. Um, I think the, the stove top may have also been pretty hot. Uh, so these, as you can see, this video is not sped up. These eggs just cooked in a flash. But again, the way to kind of combat this is you take it off the heat and you just keep them moving. Because they're still going to cook, the pan is still hot, um, but it's just going to drastically slow it down. Alright. There you have it. Some creamy scrambled eggs. Okay guys, so here's Julie. All right. Hi. You've met her before. Um, so she is going to join in our brunch extravaganza. So we've got on our plates now our Belgian waffles that were made in a not Belgian waffle maker. So they're like half Belgian waffles. Our pancakes and some eggs. Um, so we're just going to dig in. And I'm really excited about these waffles because they're very cinnamony. Wow. Are they good? Mm -hmm. All right. So it's the waffles. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I really like the waffles. Mm. Oh, they, they are cinnamony. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? They're good. They're good. Yeah. Um, I compare them to like, like cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. I definitely prefer this homemade recipe to the biscuit recipe, um, I which I think it. everyone does. Mm. <laughs> but I mean, like the whole, the biscuit recipe is so easy to make, mm. and it's like so quick to just like whip up. But like this was also pretty easy. Like the egg white thing was a little weird, but it was easy. Um, so yeah, ten out of ten for these waffles. Mm -hmm only thing I wish is that we had an actual Belgian waffle maker so they could be thicker. Yeah. Uh, my these, mom are, did. these are American mm -hmm. waffles. Yes, yeah, so if anybody wants to get us a Belgian waffle maker, <laughs> my birthday is in a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kind of. I'm not. <laughs> that, was, that was more of a hint to me, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Eggs next. I've been eating everything. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Eggs. eggs are good. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. eggs. Mm -hmm. can't mess up eggs. Yeah, eggs are super easy. If you mess up eggs, like, what, what are you doing with those? <laughs> yeah. What am I doing with that? <laughs> no, the, um, they, they came out <clears throat> a little um, a little less creamy than I thought, but no, flavor-wise, they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. You put in your salt and pepper? Salt, pepper, garlic powder, uh -huh. and uh, rigor. Oh, okay. okay. And then we cooked it in butter. Mm. Yeah. How you do it? Yeah. Mm. These pancakes are better than the biscuit ones also. So what's in the pancakes? No Is that just like flour, sugar, baking soda, mm -hmm. milk, oil? Baking powder. Baking powder. Not baking soda. Milk. Um, there wasn't any oil on it. Uh, an egg. Hmm. Um, and then I cooked it in butter. Hmm. On my new nonstick pan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Definitely worth doing homemade versus the Bisquick versions or Eggo. Don't do Eggo. And what, it takes like, like 15 minutes to make at most? Like... Yeah, yeah. If we had done just one of these, like eggs take two minutes. Mm -hmm. But with the pancakes and the waffles, next time, I mean, like the only reason why we did all, all three of these is for this episode. Um, but we usually just do one or the other. Um, these are so quick and easy enough to make on a weekday, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, I agree. I think if you have all the ingredients in front of you, um, do a little mise en place. Um, you know, this should really only take you 20 minutes. Yeah. At most. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, it's so worth it. Um, again, not knocking the bisque quick uh, pancakes or waffles, and if you're in a rush, whip those up in five minutes, you know, go about your day. But if you have a little bit of time, I mean, 
especially these waffles. Yeah. Um, it's, it's absolutely worth it. And it's all stuff that you're going to have in your pantry anyway. Yeah. Like, it's not any weird ingredients. It's right. so basic. Unless you were hit by the flower apocalypse. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, assuming that you have flour of leftover. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this. Yeah. Let us know um, if you end up making these. Send us pictures. Um, and I will post the link to all of the recipes down below. So yeah, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every week whenever we upload. Every other week now. We're trying to do either Saturday or Sunday at 3.30. Mm -hmm. um, and as always... Slide into our DMs on Instagram if you uh, have any recipe suggestions or just want to say hi. Mm -hmm. And email us at thecocakitchen at gmail.com. Yeah. And we'll see you guys in two weeks. Peace. Peace.